So here's a first in a new series of vlogs with our senior policy officer, Tim Jones. Tim, what's the big news at the moment? So last week, three ex-employees of Credit Suisse, the multinational bank, were arrested in London related to a case that involves $2 billion of odious loans to Mozambique, which have had massive impacts on the southern African country. So a few years ago, in 2013, these two banks, Credit Suisse and VTB, from their London branches, lent $2 billion to Mozambique. The money was given in secret, the Mozambique parliament didn't know about it or sign off on it, and it's been of no benefit. The money was either wasted on some speedboats and a tuna fishing fleet, it sits unused in Maputo Harbour, most of it has gone missing. The um, arrests that have happened in recent days allege that $200 million of the money, at least, was given in kickbacks and bribes to various politicians and employees of the companies involved. The UK has done very little. So this investigation has been actually been carried out by the US Department of Justice. The UK body that was investigating the Financial Conduct Authority dropped its criminal investigation in November. So we think this is shocking that it is only at the behest of the US that action is now being taken rather than the UK. These were banks in London that lent the money and so it should be London authorities that are holding the banks to account. So what does it mean for now, Tim? Now we um, need to see three things happen. This is really a positive step forward because it shows the odiousness of the debt. And so we hope it makes clear that Mozambique people should not have to pay one cent on these debts that they receive no benefit from and have no say over. Two, we need general rules that say if a bank is lending to a government, that loan has to be publicly disclosed. And thirdly, we need to see the UK finally take proper action against the banks involved, Credit Suisse and VTB. It's not good enough that this kind of deal has been able to go through and the UK not hold to account the banks that were doing it here in London.